Hey guys, Zelonius here. Merry Christmas to anyone who celebrates it. Christmas Eve as of today recording this video and we are almost at the end of 2023. What a year it's been. Appreciate everyone who supported the channel throughout the year, who's uh, watched any of my videos, watches my Twitch streams. I do appreciate you guys. In today's video, we are going to be looking at one of the tried and tested best formations on FC24 and honestly just for years in ultimate team the 4 2 3 1 I'm gonna as always with my tactics video explain it step by step break every single part of it down talk you through the players you want in this formation exactly how the tactic works what's good about the tactic what's bad about it and then you should have a pretty good idea of how to use it to help you get more wins if there's any particular videos you would like to see me do or just any questions or comments you've got in general please do let me know i try my best to read every single comment and respond to them i do appreciate you guys taking time to interact with me and also i would recommend checking out a series i'm doing now where i do full live commentary of a match um, i think you can get a lot out of that you can learn a lot get to see a bit more into the mind of someone who's pretty much every week in rank one and get an elite division in ultimate team so this is my team at the moment very versatile team with four attackers but you could put one of them into midfield if you needed um, pretty great defense could sell company if i wanted to just put blog back into a uh, fund some other areas but yeah I, I really like my team at the moment i really wanted to try that new cr7 out but he's cost near three and a half million or something stupid um i don't know what you guys think but my opinion is that the pack weight promos is a disgrace at the moment uh as Arteta would say it's a disgrace um the cheaper end cards or the mid to decent range cards are really affordable then the top ones are just impossible to get every promo but are you sick to death of getting out teamed on fc24 want that god squad you've always been dreaming of check out iggm.com today the best and most reliable place to get coins for your ultimate team use the link in the description and code zell at checkout for a five percent discount check out iggm.com today that's beside the point. Let's get into the tactic. So you might have watched one of my tactics videos before. If you have, you will know, generally speaking, when I do a tactic, I have a defensive cell. It's not defensive. It's just that's what the game plan's called. And then I normally have a more attacking version of it. I don't do this for the 4 2 3 one. Simply put, for the 4 2 3 one, I don't think it's that good at coming back from behind with. It's a great formation to play in front with and to play when you draw and control the game, but I'd rather switch to a more aggressive, more attacking formation if I'm losing. Simply put, if there's a weakness of this formation, it's the lack of two strikers and just all out attacking options. It's decent going forward, and if you're a good, patient player, you can create some really, really good attacking patterns in this formation. But if you try to come back into a game, there's definitely better formations, in my opinion. So I would not recommend this as a tactic use or formation use at every stage of the game. Um, I do have lots of tactics that I've done that with. I'd recommend going to check those out. So the actual formation itself, um, 4 2 3 one, very solid. The pros of it, very good defensively, very hard to break down, very good at keeping the ball. Um, a lot of people underestimate how important that is, but if you have the ball, you can score, and if your opponent doesn't have the ball, they can't score. Quite simple, but definitely works a lot. So this formation, I would say, is a very good fundamental formation, and by that, I mean, if you are new to the game, particularly you really need to practice some of the basics, uh, like keeping the ball, passing accuracy, defensive structure, things like that. I think this is a brilliant formation that could really help you learn the game. So if you're newer to the game and you're watching this video, I think this is one of the best formations you can use. And every year it's just a good, solid formation. When I talk about the attacking pads in this formation, having a Lam and Ram who can stretch play teams out wide, they can offer finesse, traveller options, a cam to link the play up, two CDMs in front of your back four to... Uh, keep your defensive shape it's really good and it's very hard as long as you don't dive in and you just play fairly solid fundamental fifa for someone to overrun you in this formation and uh, there's not really a formation that play you could play against this where this formation is com be completely counter so honestly one of the most balanced solid all-round formations in the game in terms of my tactic very simple 
Um, I go balanced. I don't think in this formation you want to be pressing as aggressive as some. You can maybe do press on heavy touch, but I don't think you need to do that really. Um, the 55 depth gives you a bit of auto press at times, and your team does push and press a bit more, but it doesn't leave you out of shape. Or when you go to the higher 71 plus depth, your team at times can get really caught out and it can screw you over. Build up play, balanced, direct passing for chance creation. Um, direct passing just pins opponents back, gets your uh, players forward. Quite hard to defend against, so I definitely highly recommend that. I think it makes a big difference when you have um, this on. I think without this, formations and attacking is just a lot harder. Players in box, I pretty much put six on most. That seems a sweet point for me. Striker, you could put stay central, but I do like them floating around a little bit. I have the striker on stay forward. I want someone to stay forward and offer a counter-attacking threat. If you want to be super defensive, you could put come back on defence. But I really don't think it's needed in this formation. I've toyed with getting behind, but I find when you put getting behind on, if it's a formation where I'm not trying to press and win the ball high up and then instantly attack, as soon as I put getting behind, it just feels like my team instantly running behind. And even if I'm like sick, I'm keeping the ball... Uh, around their box, my players will just try and run in behind for like six yards out. It just doesn't work very well. Um, I like it when it's like a tactic where I'm trying to get the ball forward instantly, but doesn't work as well on this year as some previous ones. Default on all the cams except comeback on defense. The comeback on defense you might think might leave you not as good going forward, and it is true to some extent. However, it is insane defensively um, because it just gets so many people behind the ball makes a huge difference and honestly i would highly recommend it i think it's really really good on this game to do this and uh, makes a big difference in my opinion so come back on defense makes you very hard to break down um cut passing lane to stay back while attacking i find even when players are on stay back while attacking at cdn this year if they have high attacking work rates they will still get forward you will not be left without any options going forward on some of the previous years if you had stay back while attacking on your cdms they just wouldn't get forward at all. This year they do. And I think this just makes a better balance. When you have balance, they don't defend that much. Uh, for the fullbacks, stay back while attacking and overlap. That overlap means they will occasionally make runs. But what I like about it is that if you were, say, attacking with Sauer and Mbappe, Lorente might be in a position where he might go and make that overlapping run. But Baka will stay back. But if you attack on this side, Baka might make an overlapping run. But Lorente has stay back. It just gives you more balance of structure. Whereas if you have balanced on both, they just both keep running in behind. And you can find yourself, if you lose the ball in a bad position, just two centre-backs against their attack, which is not ideal. So, yeah, I really like this formation. Like I say, highly recommend it if you're new to the game. Highly recommend it if you just want a well-balanced formation where you're going to be able to keep the ball better. Um, and, yeah, this is just going to help you get good, solid results. Fit quite a few rank ones with this formation this year. Made a few tweaks to it as the year's gone on but yeah appreciate you guys watching if there's any questions do let me know as always keep it spicy hope you have a great christmas peace